Thanks everyone for joining us today for our webinar, Simple and Smart Member Loyalty Tips with Training Gym. We're very excited to have our partner Training Gym here to discuss the benefits of having a member loyalty strategy in place and the tools to help you achieve success with your strategy. So our presenter today is Kateri Vakalik, who has been Training Gym's country manager for the UK and US since 2016. During the webinar, she'll be sharing how you can grow your gym from the inside with five simple steps to build a successful member loyalty strategy. Kateri will also give you a peek into the Training Gym platform so you can see how their integration with Easy Facility will give you the tools you need to boost member loyalty and increase profits. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Kateri. Thank you, Caitlin. So um, thank you very much for the, um, the introduction, Caitlin. We are really excited uh, about what Easy Facility and Training Gym are doing together with our partnership. Um, part of member loyalty or member retention um, is having, is creating a positive experience for your members. And if you're already using Easy Facility, you're already facilitating their sign up their payment, their experience. And so that's your first step in creating member loyalty. One of the things I wanted to start off with in this, in this webinar is talking about member loyalty versus member retention. Technically, there's the same thing, but words are important. So how is it a little bit different? Why do we tend to say member loyalty from training gym? Well, we see member retention as um, avoiding or impeding a member from leaving the club. Whereas member loyalty, we see it as a conscious choice for the member to stay at your club. So what we want to create is that conscious choice of members to stay with your club, not that they are being kept in, but that they're choosing to stay with you. So why is member loyalty so important? One of the first things is, frankly, if you don't have member loyalty, you're going to feel a lot of churn. For example, in the new year, there's stats that say about 60% of your new members from January will leave by February. I don't know if any of you have experienced that in this um, past month or in the midst of experience it as you kind of leap into March. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to obviously flip that upside down and really help keep 60% of those members who are supposedly leaving by February. Another reason why member loyalty is so important is it costs nine times more to acquire new member than to keep your current members. So you can spend money on marketing, you can spend money, but you're gonna have that constant churn if you're always investing in getting more members. When it's really, you have a greater return on investment if you start looking at the members you actually have. Speaking of the members you actually have, if you increase member loyalty to 5%, you can increase your profits by 25 to 95%. Sounds too good to be true. Well, it's not. By investing in your current members, there's different ways that you can create um, and increase the average spending per member, right? Their lifetime value, as you may put it. One is by just extending their membership. If they stay longer in their club, their value to you as a club owner is going to be greater. Not only that, but people who stay in the clubs longer tend to use more services. So instead of just going to work out, perhaps they're going to start using their personal training. Perhaps they're going to start using nutrition. Perhaps they're going to start buying a protein shake. There's different ways where they're going to start increasing and using more of the services you provide. And then also, when you have happy members who are crazy and excited about your club, they're more likely to recommend. So that's another way where we're going to help increase profits by looking at your current members. Differentiating your club in a thriving and saturated market. We understand that it is a competitive market nowadays. And you can compete on various things to kind of differentiate yourself from your competitor. You can compete with pricing. You can compete with your installations. You can compete with equipment. Those are all very costly options. There's another option, which is pretty great in the benefits that you're going to get and doesn't cost as much, which is increasing your customer service or increasing the personal treatment that you have for your members. And also, as Caitlin mentioned, creating a member loyalty strategy is how you build your business from the inside out. You're investing in your business in your services, in the treatment that you're giving your client. And that's what's really going to grow and be the basis for other strategies that you have within your club. So how do we do this at Training Gym? Well, the key point is what we want to do is we want to create a positive experience. And we have five really simple steps that are smart because we're going to use technology to carry them out in a way that's effective and efficient 
for your club. So the first step is we want to get to know your members. We want to be able to manage their expectations, which is number two. Third, we want to guide them. Four, we want to solidify a habit. And the fifth is we want to listen to our members. So I'm going to break this down to you a little bit more in detail and really explain to you why those five steps are important and how easy they are to carry out. Perhaps you already are carrying out some of these steps, but are you doing it in a way that you can do it on a scalable basis, meaning that you have more growth, you can do it with more members. That's where the technology and the smart part comes in. Perhaps you have a lot of these ideas in your head or in your mind or in, as a vision, right? But you just don't know how to carry it out. That's where training gym can come in and help you. The first step that we talked about is getting to know your members. At the end of the day, the fitness industry, you're still a service industry, right? And being in a service industry, you have to have a client-centric uh, strategy. And one of the things we need to do in order to have a true client-centric uh, strategy is know our members. How can we anticipate their needs or even serve their needs if we don't know what it is they want, right? So one of the things we do with our program is in the first interaction that you have with a member when they sign up at the club, for example, after you put their name in easy facilities, um, they sign the contract, that information is passed over to Training Gym, and now they're a member in Training Gym as well. Well, we want to know, why are they here? What are their motivators, right? What goal do they want to achieve? And you're able to put this all into the back office software. So the back office software, you're going to be able to have a database of all this really rich information for your staff. What do they want to achieve? What are their goals? This is super important. Are they here to work out? Are they here to socialize? Are they here to get rid of stress? People come to club for various reasons. And if we can know the reason why they are coming, we're able to serve them in a better manner. What do they enjoy? Now, this will come in handy further on it when you see it in the presentation, not only in knowing our members, but how we treat them and some of the communications we carry out with them. Also, this is really helpful for your staff. If you have um, a member that comes in and they're, they're engaging with different members of your staff, this allows your staff to have a continuous storyline with those members. The member doesn't have to repeat themselves because you have a database that's centralized that has all this information. If I'm talking to a PT in one area and a nutritionist in another area, that PT and the nutritionist are going to have the database of the same information. They're going to be able to share and see how that member is progressing. So you're able to lock down all this information within our program. Let's say you don't have staff. That's not a problem. We also have this available in a kiosk. So that if you are running a kind of more low-cost style gym, let's say you don't have that many um, staff on the floor, you don't have time to necessarily do an interview with them. We do have the possibility where members can actually fill out this, uh, this interview on their, on their own. This allows them to also get personalized information that will help managing and guide them in the future as well. The next step is managing expectations. This is really important. It's insane how many people don't have a starting off point when they go into a club. They go into the club, they sign up, they're ready to, they have their idea, they want to become a supermodel, they want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, they have some of these wild expectations a lot of times, and no one's there to help manage their expectations and say, hey, your dream's not wild, but let's create a kind of short-term and mid-term goal to get there, right? And part of starting to make goals is you need a reference point, right? So with Training Gym, what we have is we have um, integration with bioimpedance skills that allows you to, in with under two minutes, get a reading of the member's body composition. They'll have access to it on their app, as you see here in a graphic, um, in a graphic um, visual, and they'll be able to see their own progression. This is really interesting. This is actually my favorite part um, of Training Gym, and a lot of members will even just go to the club just for this way and just for this reference. They might do workouts outside the club, inside the club, but they come coming back for this, um, for this reference point. This is also a really great moment where you can actually use to have a purposeful engagement between your staff and the client to create that bond, to also give that feedback about how they are progressing. Another really interesting part is what I say, allow members to choose, don't assume. A lot of people say, well, 60% of my members go to group activities. Um, they're not on the fitness floor. This is not something they will use. 
but that's assuming a lot of people who maybe are doing group activities have the same goals of people who are in the cardio or in the free weights area or do have a personal training. They just have a different way of reaching that goal. They want to do it through group activities because that's where they feel more comfortable. But that doesn't mean that this value isn't, um, isn't real to them. So what we want to do is we want to be able to provide members, all members, whether they are using the cardio, whether they're using personal training, whether they're using the group activity, this feedback for them to see their progress. Because when they can see themselves reaching their goals, reaching those benchmarks, that's when they have that positive feeling. That's when they're going to really recommend to their friends and family. They're going to whip out their phone and say, look at how I'm progressing. And that is the best, the best recommendation that you can get from a member is that not only are they enjoying their experience, but they're reaching their goals at your club. Again, if you don't have staff, you don't have that time to do this with a member, have that engagement, have that interaction, we can also set it up with the kiosk. So here, what you're seeing right here, this is kind of the member when they log on, they would see their kiosk, those are the information, and they actually can do a self weigh in here. So you can allow that. You can have actually both available as well. You can have kind of free go on, um, free ongoing weigh in, or you can also have kind of the optional or kind of a step up, which is that engagement with the staff, with the professional to help you get that feedback, tell you how to tweak your plan or tweak your diet, tweak whatever you're doing to reach those goals that you have in mind. Step three is guide your members. 85%. I know you can't respond. You probably can't um, say anything right now, but what do you think 85% means? I'll let you think for a second. Okay, I'll tell you. 15% of your members are self-sufficient to reach their goals. 15, that means 85% of the people who are going to your club are looking for guidance. They might not be actively looking for guidance. They might be passively looking for guidance. They might be waiting for you to come to them. But about 85% are not self-sufficient. So we need to help them. How can we help them help themselves, right? So. One of the things we've done is we've created workout programs that are available to them in their app. These workout programs, we have over 2,000 3D exercise videos um, that you can create workout programs. You can do this in various ways. Um, we have an algorithm that can take into account that interview that we saw in step one and create a personalized workout program, for example. That's one way you can create a workout template. You can create, the second way you can create a workout template is completely from scratch. This is typically for personal trainers, for example, who want to create a very detailed um, workout program singularly for an individual. Then we have another way to make a workout program, which is kind of in that mid-row, which is actually creating templates available to your members so that they can actually assign themselves. So you can have a um, tone up one, tone up two, and tone up three available for your members, for example. And you can use those three ways of creating workout programs to best suit your business model. One thing about training gym that's important about technology that is important is it's not just a plug and play. We adapt to what your needs are and we use the program, we use our methodology in a way that benefits your needs if you have staff, if you don't have staff, if you're looking to create um, an extra benefit economically from this program, if you're looking to just provide it as a value added for everyone, that's a choice that you have as a unique business owner, and we value that as well. So we work with you to see, okay, how can we work to use these workout programs? Another great thing about these workout programs is when you're looking at inside or out of the club. We want to guide your members to reach their goals. So if they are using a PT, we understand usually PT, perhaps they're not going to use the 3D exercise in that session. However, when they're not with a personal trainer, they have that opportunity to professionalize that, that treatment of personal trainer. If you don't have personal trainers and you're just giving this as a value added to your members, you can also create plans that they can do at home, kind of complementary. And lastly, if you have people who are on business trips, who are on vacation, you don't have to freeze those accounts. You can provide them workout programs even when they aren't actually coming to your club. And that is a service that you can charge for as well. So there's a lot of flexibility here in guiding your members and keeping that, con that consistency with your members as well. Step four is solidifying a habit. We know who our members are. 
We've managed the expectations. We know where they want to go. We have a starting point. We have a reference point. We have a benchmark. We are guiding them by providing them workout programs. Now what we need to do is really help solidify that habit with them. So one of the things is we're going to encourage their attendance. They have a calendar on their cell phone so they can see how long, how many times they have worked out in that past month. We also have communication tools. So we have email and push notifications. And not only do we have email and push notifications, we have automatic reminders. So automatic reminders when your workout program, you have a new workout program or you need to come to the club or you have a weigh-in um, that day. So there's different automatic reminders. Or you can also create personalized messages. The personalized messages can be individual or in groups. So if you have a group training group, it's a really easy way to encourage attendance. Hey, everyone, don't forget, bring your bring your mats on Tuesday. We're going to do some fun stretching. For example, that, that engagement, that encouragement is really going to help solidify a habit for your members. Not only that, but it's really important to be a resource and educate and promote services. I think um, we often forget that a lot of these members are choosing to come to a club. Today in age, there's so many options um, where you don't have to join a club to do exercise. There's so many apps out there that take you outside of the club they are joining the club because a lot of times they are looking for that guidance that extra uh, understanding that professionalism right and we have ways where you can actually communicate uh, all of that resource all of that knowledge that you have as a fitness professional to your members one way is through your communications through email through push but we also have another option which is a pop-up within the app. So this pop-up within the app can be a new blog that you have up, a new article that you have up, a new service that you want to do. It can be a coupon. Really, you can use it however you'd like. But it's another resource to engage with your members, keep it exciting, keep it dynamic. Of course, when you're communicating with your members, one of the things is we always want to use meaningful communication. Uh, it's very easy <laughs> this day and age to become a spam bot, right? You just send massive communications to all of your members, but all of your members are not alike. And we saw that in step one, when we got to know our members, right? Based on that information, all that rich information that we got in step one, we can actually segment our database. We have hashtags to help you out with that, just do it in a really quick, easy way to see people who have been in the last seven days, people who haven't been to work out, people who've never had a weigh-in, people who haven't downloaded the app, for example. Really easy filters that you can use there. But then also we have the ability to create target audiences. So you can actually use all that information to see who's interested in spinning, who's interested in personal training, who's interested in uh, losing weight, or who was interested in just having anti-stress and meditation as their goal. You can use all of those different filters to create a specific group by gender, by age, by active or non-active status to create meaningful communications with this. You can be relevant to your recipients, and that's when you're gonna get a much higher rate in openings, in um, people taking advantage, um, taking the opportunity, sorry, taking the opportunity to, to use that offer, that opportunity that you're providing for your members. Listen to your members. Step five. This is the last step, but this is one of the biggest steps. And often we don't do it. A lot of times we talk to our members and we don't give them the platform to really um, speak back to us, to let us know how we are doing. Uh, with Training Gym, you're obviously gonna have a lot of quantitative information. This is going to give you the qualitative information, the information that's really going to let you know, is all of the investment that you're doing in this customer service and creating a positive experience, is it um, being carried out well? So one of the ways we do that is we have um, automatically triggered surveys. Um, they're triggered based on interactions that they have with staff. For example, if I have a weigh-in or if I have a workout, um, or if I do a group activity, for example, I can see how that appointment went with that staff member. So I'll be able to know if it's positive, it's negative. I can leave a comment if I'd like to give more detail. Um, and this allows not only for the staff to get feedback, to know how they are doing, because a lot of times staff really don't get any feedback unless it's a complaint um, or unless it's a really good um, client that they're very close with. A lot of times 
you're kind of in this gray area. So this allows you to get a lot of data from multiple people, a lot more people than perhaps the person that would stop at the front desk to say something. And if you don't have a front desk, if you have a low, a low cost, this is gonna allow you to have more information about the facilities, how everything is going. So one of the things when you're working with surveys, for example, is you need to make them simple, you need to make them fast, and you need to make them useful. So simple, it's very easy. They are automatically triggered, so you don't have to remember to send them out. Um, it's easy. It's on the, uh, it pops up in the app automatically when they go to look at their workout, when they go to look at their body composition, et cetera. It's going to automatically um, come up. It has a small faces, these um, five happy faces. You click the face that you want, and it will give the feedback to the club. Not only this, not only do we have the automatically triggered um, surveys, but we do have the ability to create custom surveys, which is really great because this is an opportunity for you to really involve your members um, in the decisions that the club makes. Let's say you do have the opportunity to invest in the club. You can actually ask your members what they would like. I'm about to buy new equipment for the club. What would you rather see, A, B, C, or D? And this is a kind of um, shoe in to win because you know that if you listen to your members, they're going to be happy about the investment that you made. So you're actually including them as stakeholders within your um, club, and the benefits are are very high in that manner. So a big thing when you're looking at your loyalty plan is remember that loyalty doesn't stop at 60 days. A lot of people say, you know, the first two months, the first three months is kind of the red zone. Once they pass there, you're that um, you can kind of forget about your members. That's not true, uh, let's be real. Um, <laughs> we really need to think about a strategy that is ongoing. You can have a more aggressive strategy in the first 60 days, in the first 90 days, but that doesn't mean the strategy just falls off a cliff and isn't continued on. What you need to do is kind of diversify the strategy. So when you're looking kind of at the map, the first thing you want to say is, okay, I need to map out a short-term strategy and a long-term strategy and see how that evolution happens, see how we're going to work in. The first month, it's very important to solidify that, that habit. It's very important to create um, uh, adherence to the, to the workout program. Once you create that stickiness, we're going to say, with the member, then you can go ahead and create more personalized budgets. And you're going to know more and more about the client as, uh, as the relationship grows. With that knowledge that you're gonna know about the client, you can create even more um, interactions and touches and communications that are positive. As I said, a successful loyalty strategy is not just gonna be that big bang, that first interview that you had, that induction. A lot, of, a lot of clubs just have an induction program, and after that, you never speak to a staff member, you never see anyone ever again. You need to think of your loyalty strategy as multiple steps, as kind of a protocol, an organization. When you have that vision really clear and you can communicate it to your staff, they understand their purpose, they understand where they are in that kind of um, factory of member loyalty, then they can easily perform their job. But a lot of times it's a very blurry vision that clubs have. They say, we want member loyalty in this kind of big cloud, but you don't actually have the plan mapped out. You don't have the action marked out. You don't know whose role is, um, which person is playing which role in that, in that strategy. And obviously, in, in hand in hand with this, your new members and your older members are going to have different needs. They're going to have different wants. They're going to want to feel um, different interactions with each one of them. And that's going to evolve with each person. So it's very important to have that database, to have that information, and to listen to your members. So with these five steps, getting to know your members as the key number one step, managing their expectations, helping them reach their goals by guiding them through workout activities, solidifying their workout habit, and listening to them, all of these five steps put together with technology backing it, it's going to make a real simple and smart way to create member loyalty. But of course, we don't start there. We have a couple more tools to help you keep it smart and simple. On the productivity side, obviously we're gonna help staff organize their day-to-day. -day. They'll have that centralized database of their members with all that rich information that we were talking about previously. 
they'll have feedback on their performance and their interactions. So they know, oh, I didn't do too well today. I need to change or oh, I'm doing really great. I need to keep up the great work. They have the ability to have multi-channel communication with the member via email or via push, but on an official channel. You don't have to give out your cell phone number. It will all be through training gym. It will all be um, documented. You'll be able to review any communication that has happened between staff and between clients, which gives you kind of a ease of mind. And the staff actually has an app that they can use to help them with their daily activities. And last but not least, they have the workout editor, they have the exercise library, which will allow them to create really creative workout programs, will allow them to grow their own workout library. It will give them a lot of benefits to help professionalize their interactions with, um, with the members. And then on the management side, we're going to help management be in the know. You'll be able to see what progress your clients are making. You'll be able to see how many are being engaged, how many are having interactions. You'll have quantitative, obviously, the productivity side, how many members are being engaged. But then you'll also have the qualitative information of how they are being engaged. Of course, what I talked about earlier, having that protocol and that organization is really going to help um, really streamline the effectiveness of this strategy. And then you're also going to help you improve your brand presence. If you want to personalize your app, for example, that's going to also help you improve your brand presence within the market. And you help empower your employees. You're giving your employees the tools to help them better serve your clients. And that's nothing better that you could give your employees than helping them do their job and do their job well. So that's how we keep it really smart and simple. Of course, even more smart and simple, or simple and smart, I should say, is the interaction, the integration that we have with Easy Facility. So as I said, if you're working with Easy Facility already, you already have half of the more than half you already have a great foundation to build member loyalty because you're making it very easy for members to make their payments to sign up etc and all of that is going to help take a load off of them and take a load off of you as well and who doesn't like that it's going to be a positive experience so to build on that positive experience from easy facility and training gym has done to create an integration between our two programs Meaning when someone signs up for Easy Facility, their information is going to be automatically transferred to Training Gym. Training Gym will automatically send information to the client saying, hey, welcome to such and such club. Now you can download the app and enjoy some of the great features that we have to make sure that your experience here at X, Y, and Z Club is the best. Right? So it's a really simple, easy integration between the two systems. And without further ado, I am actually going to show you a little bit of the um, app in live so that you can see just how easy it is to use from a member point of view. Okay, so this is actually my app that you can see on my actual phone. I'm going to jump into Training Gym and we are going to log in. In this front page, what you're going to see, your home page, is your workout for today, the kind of goal that you have in mind, minus to build muscle. If I click the start now button, I'm going to go right into my workout. Here you can see it's a one of nine sessions. So this is a program that has nine different sessions. Um, I believe it's actually three sessions for three weeks. Of course, if I do nine sessions, well, then I'll go all the way through. And as you can see, really straightforward, really easy to understand, warm up, main, cool down. Um, I want to see what my main is. So I'm going to go to leg press 45. Just click on the button there. And here I can see if I press the play button, I can see I need to do 10 reps. And I can actually see exactly how they're done. Very easy to see. I also have a countdown if some coming for me as well. If I go to another exercise, I can do the same. The leg day I see. So I'll be doing this leg press as well. And then let's say you need to cool down and stretch. Very important and very easy to follow um, 3D videos to see how to do the different exercises or cool down or stretch. We have a wide variety of exercises. So there's not really anything that you're going to miss out on um, as far as the exercise goes. You can also log in some other information if you played a sport, if you took a rent, if you went running, for example, um, if you did a group activity. If you want to assign yourself your own workout, you can do that. Just pick your sample. Here you go to sports. You can pick soccer, pedal, tennis, et cetera. I can kind of 
log that in as well so I know what I've been doing. If I want to know what I've been doing, I can go to my calendar and see. This month I haven't really done too much. Um, but if I go ahead and I sneak back over to January, here we go. We can see if I go to January 29th, I can see exactly what I did that day. So very informative. Also, if I want to look to see what I have in store for me for those nine sessions that we talked about, I can actually sneak to session two and see what my next session will be. You can even include group activities into the workout program if you'd like to. That's an option we have. And in the health area, this is where the member is going to see all that information about their progress. So the body analysis, this is the integration that we have with the bioimpedant scales, the tinea that are in the body. And here you can see for the last four weigh-ins, but if I have more than last four weigh-ins, I can actually see a full list of my information here and get all the detail. Not only that, the part two, this is very standard. I can actually not change it on the app. This is just a document. So I can see exactly what I gave the club and have a record of it. With measurements, we have various tests that you can use or not use depending on how you want to give the service to, to the client. But for example, flexibility tests, I can see the, my, um, my progression uh, there as well. And a really neat part is tracking. So tracking is where you can actually upload any information that you want the member to be able to access via their phone. So if I go to my nutrition plan, for example, I can actually see um, a kind of quick breakfast that was um, made up for me for my nutrition plan. So a really easy way to interact with your members in the messages here you can see some different push notifications that you can send. You can send much longer ones. You can send ones that have promotions or different communications that you want members to have. Again, it can be to one individual, it can be to a specific group of individuals, or it can be everyone at the club. Um, so you have a lot of different ways you can interact there as well. And then lastly, activities here. You can also put the activities that you will be having um, at the club. So a lot of different things you can do with the, with the app. Another part that you can see really quick is you can actually sync to different devices. Um, I had mine synced to my Apple Watch um, just a couple minutes ago. Let's see if it loads that for me. Might take a few minutes. Here we go. So you can actually um, sync to the Health app. You can sync to Google Fit as well. And you can get information um, synced to your app. So you can have that information there as well. Okay. So that was just a really quick um, follow through of the app. I will pass it back to Caitlin. Here we go. So that she can kind of close it up and we'll do some questions and answers. Great. Thank you so much, Kateri. These are such fantastic tips to get started with uh, creating a really strong member loyalty program. We really appreciate it. Um, so again, just a reminder for everyone who joined us today, um, if you could type any question you have into the question panel over on the side here, uh, I'll make sure that we, uh, Kateri's here to answer all those questions. And we also have Steve Guskett, our um, operations manager on the easy facility side, just in case uh, some integration questions come up as well. Okay, so the first question we have here is, how much time does it take to get onboarded with a training gym and easy facility integration? Absolutely. So um, typically the actual integration, so um, between training gym and easy facility, um, that is actually a fairly quick process because we've already actually developed the integration. So it's really just activating that integration. Um, as far as onboarding training gym specifically, Specifically, um, training gym takes about um, 30 to 60 days to implement, um, and that really depends on um, the club as well. Um, obviously, we um, we have different tools to help you um, via video, video, um, video conferences, video calling. It's a fairly easy program to set up. Um, it just depends on how involved as well on the time frame that the club has to dedicate it. But typically we're up and running between 30 to 60 days. Fantastic, thank you. So we have another question here. So will members have to pay to use the training gym app? This is a great question. I actually, um, no, they don't. The club is actually who pays for the app. Um, 
the club also has the option to choose how they deliver that app to their members, if that makes sense. So we do not charge the actual club members for using the app, but I will say we do have some clients who charge specific services of the app. Um, we always recommend giving it as a value added um, to all of the members. However, for example, personalized workout programs, perhaps what they do is they say, okay, I'm going to provide the template workout programs for free. And if you want a personalized workout program, you pay a little extra. Um, or body compositions, for example, we'll give you um, six free throughout the year. But if you want more, you can pay a little bit extra as well. There's different ways where you can use the program that if you're looking to um, build a little bit more profit, you can do that. Um, but typically we recommend giving as a value added, but it's your choice as a, as a business owner to kind of see how you want that to fit with your with your members. Awesome. So lots of possibilities there. So another question here, uh, is there a way to export the reports about members? Is there a way? Yes, we do have um, a several different reports. Um, specifically what report you're speaking about. Um, for example, if you're looking to see how many interactions we have, et cetera, we do have kind of online reports and then we do have um, reports that are also in Excel, for example. So there is that ability. Um, there's also, as far as kind of a fitness report for members. So if you do kind of um, the flexibility test, the Rockport, the Cooper, the VO2, for example, um, and you want to create kind of a uh, kind of a physical condition report for your members. We also do have the ability to print that out on the PDF for them or send that to them in an email via PDF. Excellent. Okay, so can members access Training Gym um, through the app on just their phones or are they able to access it on desktop as well? Great question again. Yes, they, we have both options. So um, as a club, you can actually create a kind of member login on your web page if you'd like to do that, um, where members can log in and see their workout program, they can see their desktop, they can see their progress. So you do have that option. Um, and then, of course, we do have the app, both Android and Apple. Um, so you can access the, the app via those devices as well. And if you want to, you can also put a kiosk within the club where they can also log in and see their profile. So three different ways where members can log in and see their profile and information. Excellent. Okay, so this one's about having multiple locations. So do you need a separate training gym platform for each location or can you just use uh, one account and platform uh, for all of your locations? Very good. So you do need a license for each location. However, if you do share members, that's not a problem. We do have um, chains that use our um, use our software that have that share members. So members can go and choose which facility they are going to, and then access that information at that facility. Um, but you do need a license for each club. Fantastic. So we have a question about training. So is training included um, when someone gets started with Training Gym? Is training included? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Sure, is, uh, so I guess is training included um, with like the onboarding process when getting started with um, Training Gym? Oh, uh, um, so yes, we do, um, we do have the onboarding process. We do do a training in that onboarding process. Um, if they're asking if it's included, I'm guessing they're asking more so on um, kind of the pricing. So we do have a monthly fee um, for the use of the license, and then we do have a one-time configuration fee. And that configuration fee includes the training. Um, so in that 30 to 60 days that I talked about before about that onboarding process, that's going to include not only us working with you to completely configure the software to be um, kind of adapted to your club and your needs, but it's also going to take on um, if you do have staff, if you have fitness staff or personal trainers or reception and management, also training each member and how they're going to interact with the program so that they feel comfortable. And of course, beyond that 30 to 60 days, we do have a, um, we have ongoing support. We have a live chat support. Um, we also have a Zinda kind of article library that you can go to and understand any kind of needs that you need. And then we also do um, kind of inner webinars to kind of um, improve the use of, of the program itself, your use of the program itself. So a lot of um, sources there to kind of continual, continual education on the program. 
Oh, wonderful. There are a lot of resources available. So it looks like we're starting to slow down on questions. Uh, so we could take another minute or two to uh, let anyone ask further questions, but otherwise we can wrap things up here. Okay, well, I want to thank everyone. Um, if you're still writing in questions, feel free to keep writing in questions. Um, but other than that, I'd love to thank everyone for taking a little bit of time out of your day to learn about uh, how easy facility and training gym are working together to improve uh, member loyalty and member experience. And I look forward to speaking with some of you in the future and seeing, um, and seeing the progress that you make in your club. Thanks, Kateri. I know we're so excited on the easy facility side to be uh, integrating with you guys and partnering up. So we're looking forward to all the great resources we can start to provide uh, our clients. Absolutely. And thank you, Caitlin and, and, and Steve for setting this all up. Um, I'm really excited and look forward to, to working together even more. Absolutely. So it looks like all the questions have stopped rolling in. So I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Again, thank you all for, for attending and, and giving us your time uh, to go through Training Gym and, and learn some fantastic new strategies for member loyalty. Um, and again, thank you, Kateri, for taking time out of your day to walk us through all the different steps and, and give us a nice peek into what Training Gym can do. Absolutely. My pleasure. My pleasure. Have a great rest of the day, everyone, and thank you again for your time. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Steve. Great. Thanks, everyone, again. We'll talk soon. Bye.